Hi there, this is the very attractive poison sea pawn trap in the queen d6 variation of the Scandinavian defense. After e4, d5 the Scandinavian, formerly known as the center counter, white captures, and after the recapture by black, queen takes on d5, knight c3 gains time on the queen. A popular alternative to the traditional queen a5 or even queen back to d8 is the now common queen d6 move which has been popularized by a player at our club I am David Kudushevich. After d4 and knight f6 white develops with knight f3 and black plays the typical c6 move in the Scandinavian the pawn keeping an eye on b5 and d5 and allowing the queen to drop back to c7 if need be. White plays h3 keeping an eye on the g4 square because the pin bishop g4 can be particularly annoying in many lines of this variation. So after black plays bishop f5 now knight e5 and black offers a trade with knight bd7. White does best to decline the trade and retreat the knight to c4 hitting the queen. And after the queen drops back to that hole on c7, now white can lure black into a cunning trap with the move queen to f3. It hits the bishop on f5 and it does however offer the pawn on c2 which is free for the taking. Black should decline this and play e6 or g6 because the capture bishop takes c2 leads to ruin after this continuation. Bishop f4 hitting the queen and after the queen drops back to say c8 white is winning now with the queen retreat to e2 with a double threat. Queen takes the bishop on c2 and Knight is threatening to jump to d6, which is going to be a king and queen fork, as the pawn on e7 is pinned. So this has been the poison c pawn trap in the queen d6 variation of the Scandinavian defense. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.